Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 319, and in this segment we're going to be driving a prototype, specifically a P2 class car, it is the uh, Honda Lola level, mo level 5 Motorsport thing, it, it, it's a thing. It's a Honda ended engine Lola prototype, 2 car, it's pretty cool. So uh, anyways. Now I'm stumbling all over my words. Well, I'm done stumbling for now. Uh, let's do our final Nurburgring challenge. It is prototype challenge against the Audi R15 TDI. R15 TDI. At first, I thought I really fucked up that pronunciation. I don't think I did. Anyways, let's just uh, let's just get racing here. So here's the stage order, and let's get started at stage C. All right, here we go. P2 Honda Lola versus P1 Audi. Hopefully the Honda wins. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping the Honda wins because I'm the one driving the Honda. So, away we go. Of course, this is a modern prototype. I think this is a DLC car, actually, for this game, considering this is more of like a modern LMP with the closed cockpit and the shark fin and all that good shit. But yeah, so. Anyways, a pretty good start here, keeping up with Rossi, who already has gotten stuck behind at least one car. Nice. Of course, she will have the overall, like, pace advantage. Because, you know, P1 cars are better than P2 cars. You know. But, luckily, she can't get around traffic as efficiently as I can in most cases. I say most. So I'm sure there's a lot of times where I'm just absolute garbage at a get around these cars. Luckily, this is our last time we have to do this. At least around the Nordschleife, so. That's good. So, excuse me. Various slow vehicles. Prototype coming through. Pass all y'all and fuck your bitches. Okay, maybe not the fucking bitches part, but still. I wish we could use more, like, P2 cars in this game without having to upgrade them. Like, even with AI upgrades turned off, because, you know, P1 cars are the more dominant, but... You know, stuff. It's fine. P2 cars are still awesome. You can, you know, remove restrictors, make them more of a, uh, P1 spec. And make them competitive there. They're a lot of fun to drive. I contemplated using a prototype challenge car for this, but... Uh, I decided to go with the Honda Lola since it was a more interesting choice to me, and it was the same price as the PC car, so... I just went with that. And I did have to sell a couple of cars that I've driven previously in this game to, in order to afford this thing, because my money woes continue, but hey, it's whatever, so... There we go! Race complete, and Rossi is stuck behind like three cars there in a big ass sandwich. All right, well then. So I take the victory in race one. So let us move on to our second race. All right, here we go. Time for our second prototype race at stage uh, B. 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 So let's go inside the car and let's go racing. So we'll start. Oh, pay attention to the cars in front. I was looking at my. Uh, my steering wheel display, and Rossi spins the car. Very good. Way to go, Maria. You did it. Congratulations. How the fuck did you manage to spin the car? I mean, obviously she hit the car in front, but goddamn, Maria. I thought you were a better driver than that. Come on, you're the ultimate Forza driver. Just hearing the name M. Rossi brings fear to everyone. It's like a... I wouldn't be surprised if there's like at least one person in this world that suffers from PTSD over Rossi. I mean, it'd be, you know, a weird PTSD trigger, but, you know, shit happens. It, it, it you know, it's very possible. Of course, my uh, trigger would definitely be Esposito, because, you know, hashtag fuck Esposito. Don't know why I keep saying hashtag. Get that shit trending, boys. I'm becoming the Emma of uh, of racing let's plays. Got to hashtag everything. It's all about me, etc., etc. 
Anyways, wrestling references. A really good... Oh, okay. I was having a really good run until I went to the grass and the wall there. Alright, that was a flawless run so far. Flawless race. Whoop, round this hairpin. And this right-hander. And final run to the finish. Looks like Rossi's closed the gap a little bit since her spin. But way too little, way too late. Let's take an easy victory in race two, and then my AI crashes into a traffic car and spins. Very good. Oh, and Rossi does the same. Nice. Nice. Anyways, two race three. Alright, so uh, attempt two here at race three at stage D. Had a completely uh, traffic unrelated incident where I just spun the car. Just spun it. Don't even know how I managed to spin it. It just happened. It didn't even involve any traffic. It just fucking got squirrely. I counter steered it. Apparently, I counter steered it too much because around it went. So, that was cool. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. Anyways, let's make our way through stage D here. Trying to keep up and catch Rossi. Which I'm doing a good job of. Gotta go around the left side. Oh shit, carrying too much speed. No, no, no. Get out of the grass. Out of the grass. Thank you very much. Alright, well. That's not good, but we're still in good shape. Losing some time to Rossi, but, but she's stuck behind a car. Okay. There we go. That's all I need to do is have Rossi get stuck behind one traffic car, and here I am, and holy fuck, why did you park your goddamn Audi, Maria? That's not how you win, bitch. I'll just take the lead, oh god. The understeer has become me. That's a lot of damage from that impact, damn. Look at all that shit. That's a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. Hopefully, have a nice enough lead over Rossi, which, considering the current uh, gap, the way the direction is going, be more than fine. I'm going to guess Rossi had a uh, impact with one of the cars, the traffic cars. Maybe not too heavy of an impact, but enough of an impact. Get out of the grass. Oh well. The loss is my game. I'm gonna have absolutely no speed down the dinger hole here. Because of this. All of this. On six gear. 175. And 450 horses. And can we reach 180? Nope. We might have reached 180 before we started going uphill. I'm not sure though. So I wasn't paying attention to my speed. Well, there we go. Took a couple tries, and but I get the win and stage D, defeating Rossi, and that's that. So, one more race to go here at the Nordschleife. All right, here we go. Time for our final race in the ring challenge. We're at going to be doing stage A. So big high speed start. At the uh, end of the Dottinger Ho. We're going to be ending at high speed as well, because of where the finish line is. Around the first big high speed section of the track. Not counting, you know, Dottinger Ho. So, anyways, Rossi struggling to get around those two cars. So, we're right back to. Oh, shit, the back of her car. You just can't have a clean race in this situation. If there weren't any traffic cars and it was just me and Rossi on the road alone, then yeah. I'd have a much better chance of having a clean race. Although it is the Nordschleife, so. Narrow track. Twisty, you know, all that shit. Point is. Traffic cars are ruining my clean racing, that's that's the point. Oh god. My ineptitude is also ruining the clean racing. Uh, excuse me. I need to be over here. That's a bit of a short shift. Whoopsie. Oh, doesn't matter. Oh, 
go to the right. Okay, this is a bad part because they like to drive just in the center of the road. Ooh. Front end lifted big time going over that crest. If this were real life, that would have just fucking blew over and flipped through the sky. That would not have been good at all. At all. Always come to the finish line. And there we go. That was pretty easy. So hooray, P2 beats P1. I did what uh, Jackie Chan Racing was just barely unable to do at this year's Le Mans 24 hour. That is defeat a P1, er, yeah, defeat a P1 car with a P2 car. Hooray. But there we go. Hey, we reached level 179. Not that that matters. This is just a number at this point, and in a, uh, irrelevant number. But anyways. The ring prototype challenge is complete, and all the ring challenges are now complete. So that column is complete, and with that... We have two columns left to do, and, um, well, this is pretty much the end of, like, the super gimmick races as well as the short segment, so, yeah. Stay tuned for more Forza, and, uh, actually, I am looking forward to the next column, so, yeah.